there were people on the earth. God saw that the people were good. On the seventh day, God said, it is time to rest. Woof! Woo! God and all of creation rested. Word of life. So we are going to sing a song about a very particular creature that God created, sort of a silly creature that God created. Okay? Yes. And we also talked on this day about how creation is our home. And do you all remember the sign for home? Can you remember? We learned some ASL in the week. Home. Home. We talked about how creation is our first home, and we share this home with so many plants and creatures and bugs including we share this earth with hippopotamuses. So we're gonna sing a little song called the Hippo Song. Kids, why don't you spread out this way so our friends over here can also see. Are you ready? We're gonna start at normal speed, then we're gonna do super slow, and then we're gonna do super fast. And if anyone out there wants to sing along with us, you're welcome to. Here we go. In the beginning God made the seas, and the forest filled with trees. God made the mountains up so high. Above it all, God made the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere. Just to show how much God cares. And in the middle, God had some fun. God made a hippo that weighs a ton. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. Okay, now we're going to do it super slow, and this is a great opportunity for learning. So if any of you want to be part of it. Yes, Matias? You know, we're just going to leave the microphone right there, and we're going to focus on being hippos right now, okay? So if anyone wants to stand up and, and join us, you're welcome to. Here we go. Let's do it super slow. In the beginning God made the seas and the forest filled with trees. God made the mountains up so high. Above it all God made the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere just to show how much Had some fun. God made a hippo that weighs a ton. Do you want to get in there? Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray. God made all of us. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray. God made all of us. All right, kids, are we ready to go fast? Super duper or super duper 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 duper? Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. Ready? In the beginning, I made the seas and the forest filled with trees. I made the mountains up so high. Above it all, I made the sky. It's in your picture everywhere. Just so much guy cares. And in the middle, I had some fun. I made a hippo. We some chill. Hippo, hippo, potamus. Hippo, break. I made all this. Hippo, hippo, potamus. Hippo, break. I made all this. Woo! Okay. Thank you. I think we're ready for our next reading. Let's have a seat. And listen to a story from the Bible. Why is it so far this way? Jesus liked to teach people by telling them stories. Sometimes he told them stories called parables. Through parables, people learned God would help them, especially when things were not easy in their lives. Jesus told this parable about two houses to many people as he sat with them on a mountain one day. I want to tell you about two different people. Each one wanted to build a house. One person was very smart and one was very silly. The smart person built a house on a sturdy rock. Bad weather came, boom, echoed the thunder and shook the little house as lightning streaked across the sky. Blop, 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 dipped the heavy raindrops that fell on the roof. Whoosh, 
sighed the cold wind as it blew against the walls. The house didn't fall down, though, because the smart person had built it on the sturdy rock. The silly person built a house on sand, and something very different happened. Bad weather came, boom, echoed the thunder, and shook that little house, too, and shook that little house, too, as lightning streaked across the sky. Plop, 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 dripped the heavy raindrops that fell on the roof. Whoosh, said the cold wind as it blew against the walls. Guess what happened this time? Because the silly person built the house on the sand, crash, it fell down. If you listen to me, you are building your life on the sturdy rock of God. If you don't listen to me, you are building your life on ideas that are like the sand that shifts and blows away. When Jesus finished talking, the people on the mountain were surprised by his words. They had never heard stories like that from their rabbis before. Jesus was a wonderful teacher who helped them learn how to tr always trust God. Thank you, Ziggy. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Ziggy. Yeah. So at day camp, we talked about how when you're building beloved community, you need to build that community on a firm foundation. And Jesus tells us here what that firm foundation is. It's listening to the teachings of Jesus. It's love. It's mercy. It's faithfulness. It's trusting in God's provision and care for each and every one of us. And we illustrated that for the kids with a big Jenga set. Do you remember this, kids? Yes. So we had this big Jenga set. And at the bottom, which are like blocks that are stacked like this, if, you've never, if you don't know Jenga, and we, with the, at the foundation we put words like what? Foundation. Faith, foundation, faithfulness, love, joy, justice, care, peace. And then what happened when you started taking those away? Yeah, Naomi, you want to speak in the microphone? The it fell down. <laughs> Yeah, so we talked about how if, you, if you're trying to build a beloved community and you take away justice, you take away peace, you take away love, the whole community just falls to the ground. And we're going to sing a song about this that I grew up singing. Maybe some of you did too. Um, although we changed it a little bit from a wise man built his house upon the rock to a wise woman built her house upon the rock because women can build houses too. So you can... Join in with us. And kids, if you want to do some motions to this, that'd be lovely. Great. The wise woman built her house upon the rock. The wise woman built her house upon the rock. The wise woman built her house upon the rock. And the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the flood came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up, but the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand, and the rains came tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the sand fell flat. Flat. Oh, that house just fell right down. We're going to build back up now. Ready? So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ and the blessings will come down. The blessings come down and your prayers go up. The blessings come down and your prayers go up. Your blessings come down as the prayers go up. So build your life on the Lord. Amen. All right. Rachel, it's your turn. Kids, you can have a seat. We're going to hear another story. It's so powerful, okay. you don't need to be right next four, to it. Four friends. Jesus met many sick people when he was traveling from place to place. 
In one town, Jesus was in someone's house teaching people about God. Other people in the town had heard Jesus was a healer, and they were very excited when they found out he was nearby. Four of the town's people had a friend who was paralyzed. The four friends knew that they could just get their sick friend to Jesus. He would be healed. They carried their friend on a stretcher and tried to bring him into the house. But it was so crowded they couldn't get through the door. What should we do? asked one friend. Maybe we should just give up and go home, another answered sadly. No, I had an idea, said the third. Let's take our friend up to the roof. Then we can cut a hole in the roof and lower him. Let's try it, said the fourth friend. So they had so they all climbed up on the house and cut a hole in the roof. Using rope, they slowly and gently lowered their friend into the room where Jesus was teaching. All of the people in the room were surprised to see a man being lowered from the roof, except for Jesus. Jesus knew that the man was paralyzed. Jesus also knew that new sin hurts people more than sickness. So Jesus did an unusual thing. Jesus said to the man, Friend, your sins are forgiven. The end. <laughs> so friends, um, we, we, we shared this story at day camp um, because we talked about how when we build beloved community, yes, we need that good foundation. And sometimes there are things in this world that are barriers for other people to get to Jesus and to get to beloved community and to hear that message of love. And so sometimes when we're building beloved community, it involves breaking things. It involves dismantling certain things. And in this story, uh, we learn about the four friends who, who tore off a roof so that their friend could get to Jesus and receive healing, forgiveness and healing. Friends, I would love for us now to share a little bit more with our community about day camp and what each one of you learned. I would love to pass this mic around and have you share with our community what was your favorite thing about day camp? Or, you know, what do you think our community here at Our Saviors needs to know about day camp and about what it means to build beloved community? So as you're ready, I'll just pass the mic to you. Ziggy, was that a hand? <laughs> yeah, Sadie. I liked learning about the beloved community and singing the songs, and also singing the song on the mic when it was show and tell. And also, I have a question for, for Pastor Martha. So, well, I would like... People, so, say if they'd like to be on the water team, or, well, or the land team. So, Pastor Martha, go Okay. So, Sadie really took this theme of building beloved community seriously, and she started organizing an earth cleanup for this coming week. And she let us know that her and her mom are part of the land team. They're going to clean the land. Steve is going to lead the water team. And so... So Sadie, yeah, do you, think, do you think we should have, I think I would like to be um, part of the water team with your dad. And I'm thinking that maybe after worship we could have people come to you and talk about what, what team they'd want to be on. How does that sound? And one more thing. And 
talk about how dangerous it could be and also see if if and also donate money to people uh, who don't have enough money or or buy food for people who don't have enough food or for people who are going to have babies. Thank you so much, Sadie. Preach it. Yes. So this is what building community, building beloved community camp is all about. It's about like nurturing kids agency and you know letting them know like they are builders of beloved community you don't have to wait till you're old to be a builder of beloved community um all right anyone else want to share something about what we did at day camp like what was was there something called cardboard kingdom that oh interesting we did cardboard kingdom where we made like um, we all had our own cardboard box to like build um, a home in, and then we built some organizations, like a noodle shop, for instance, and like some other things. And then we had to face some problems and figure out how to welcome new neighbors. Yes. And we had a city council to help with that, that we elected. Yes, on, on the first day they built their houses, on the second day they added things like noodle shops, and then we had city council elections for the six neighborhoods. And are there any city council members up here? Naomi was one, yep. And then, and then the third day, they had a public meeting with the mayor and some, some folks who said there are some new neighbors who need to find a home here. And I wonder if anyone could share a little bit about who those were. Um, there was one person whose name was Beatrice, and they told us that we needed, to, that the rusty patch bumblebees were endangered and we had to make flowers, native flowers, we had to plant native flowers for them. had to welcome 20 families from Afghanistan and anyone else want to say the last thing? 12 of you. Yeah, we, they welcomed 12 queer youth who were not accepted in their own families. They made room for them in their neighborhoods as well. Yeah. This is great, sharing this story with everyone. Anyone else who hasn't had a chance to share anything you want to let the community know about day camp? Anything about your favorite part or um, what you learned? Um, we made our own like portals into, into our imaginary worlds. Um. Thank you so much, friends. Yeah. Um, that when, when you're going to be going into middle school, or already are in middle school, that we get to actually do plays about beloved community and community building and learning about how to keep our earth safe. Thank you, kids, for your witness and for being part of camp this week. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus said, let the little children come to me. Do not stop them. The kingdom of God belongs to ones such as these. And these kids know that. Hopefully we all, all of us children, however old we are, know that we are part of this reign of God that Jesus came to bring. And that reign of God gives us vision to help build beloved community wherever we are planted. And these kids know they're agents in that. Thank you, thank you all for your witness. And friends, I wonder if you could now teach, um, uh, sure, if you all could teach the sign language for building beloved community. So we had, we partnered with Bread of Life Deaf Lutheran Church this week, and we had some deaf volunteers and interpreters who taught us some sign language. So we can teach all of you. What's building? Can you show them building? Building. Building. And then beloved. Beloved. 
beloved. It's like you make bear claws and go like this, beloved, beloved, beloved. And then do you remember community? It's like many roofs, many houses. Yes. So let's do that together. Building. Beloved. Oh, community. There we go. And we wrote a song together about building beloved community that we're going to sing now. Okay. Feel free to sing and to sign along. Here's, we'll sing the chorus through once, then you all can join us. We are building a beloved community. We are building it together, yeah, you and me. And we're building it for every person, animal and plant. We're going to keep on building it up as best we can. Let's do that again. We are building a beloved community. We are building it together. Yeah, you and me. And we're building it for every person, animal and plant. We're going to keep on building it up as best we can. Here are the verses. Strong community is built on love. And you say, built on love. Strong community is built on care. Built on care. Strong community is built on justice. Built on justice. Strong community is fair and square. Fair and square. We are building a beloved community we are building it together yeah you and me and we're building it for every person animal and plant we're gonna keep on building it up as best we can if our neighbors need a living wage living wage if our neighborhoods can't find dignity dignity if our neighbors need a place to live a place to live we will work to change society society we are building a beloved community we are building it together, yeah, you and me. And we're building it for every person, animal and plant. We're going to keep on building it up as best we can. If the fish need cleaner water to survive, to survive, if the wild turkeys need a place to stay a place to stay if the butterflies and bees can't find the pollen find the pollen we are gonna have to change our ways change our ways we are building a beloved community we are building it together yeah you and me and we're building it for every person animal and plant we're gonna keep on building it up as best we can we're gonna keep on building it up as best we can one more time we're gonna keep on building it up as best we can Amen. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you, friends. You can go back to your seats and we'll continue with our prayers.
with the whole people of God in Christ Jesus, let us pray for the church, those in need, and all of God's creation. As we pray, we will, we will begin with a petition and leave space for all of you to add your prayers out loud or in the silence of your hearts. Lord, listen to your children praying. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children. Send us love, send us power, send us grace. And together we say, Send your spirit, Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children, Lord, listen to your children pray. Send us love, power, grace. Love, send us power, send us grace. Lord, listen to your children, Lord. Creator God, we pray for your good creation which sustains us daily. Here in the Phillips neighborhood, we pray with hope for the healing of trees, soil, and people that a new urban farm could bring. What other parts of creation do we pray for today? God of all the nations, we pray that leaders and peoples of the nations of the world work together for peace and justice. As American citizens, we lament the use of American made and supplied helicopters that were used to attack refugee camps in Palestine this week. What other countries and peoples do we pray for today? God in community. We pray for the church gathered here and around the world. We give thanks for the many staff and volunteers who help nurture and bring joy to the many children attending Building Beloved Community Day Camp this past week. What other ministries of our saviors and the larger church do we pray for today? God, our, and also for the 222 Nicaraguan political prisoners who arrived in the U.S. in February. Linnea's grandfather in the U.S. in February. Linnea's grandfather, Glenn. Julie's mother, Janice.
the gifts of these kids, the gifts of the earth, and we sing together, draw the circle one. We'll stand side by side. We praise to the end of the age and who on the in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of Inspire us and earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And to come forward, you'll pick up a compostable cup on your way up. We have gluten-free wafers for those who need them. Just ask your server. And we have that nourishes us for beloved community. Maybe. Thank you. You want to do juice? Yeah. Our Lord's body, us blood poured. Let us drink together. In Jesus' presence, now we meet and rest. In the presence of our Lord we gather. Rise and to spread abroad God's mighty word. Jesus risen will bring in the kingdom. Jesus risen will bring in the kingdom. Let us break bread together, let us break bread together on our knees. Break bread together, let us break bread together on our knees. When I Let us drink wine together. Let us drink wine together on our knees. Let us drink wine together on our knees. When together. Let us praise God together on our knees. Praise God together. Let us praise God together on our knees. When I fall down on my knees with to the rising sun, oh Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy on me.
riches are first. You are the bread that satisfies hunger. You are the wine that quenches all thirst. You are the bread that satisfies hunger. You are the wine that sat quenches all thirst. You are the bread that satisfies hunger. You are the wine that quenches all thirst. You are the bread that satisfies hunger. You are the wine that quenches all thirst. You are the bread that satisfies hunger. You are the wine that quenches all thirst. You are the bread that satisfies hunger. You are the wine that quenches all thirst. You are the bread that satisfies hunger. You are the wine that quenches all thirst. Receive this blessing. The body and blood of our Savior, Jesus Christ, strengthen you and keep you in God's grace. Amen. We are sent out to serve and do justice. And if you have an announcement for this community, now's the time. Come on up and introduce yourself. Nancy Nygaard Johnson, a uh, couple of different announcements. One, I have a little, I have a little promo. We're gonna win twins, we're gonna score. Uh, you know the rest. Um, uh, Lutheran Night at Target Field is Tuesday, August 15th. 6.40 game against the Tigers, which is Jim's team, so that is not good. Um, but there's a, yeah, we have this little battle going on in our household. Um, there's a sign-up sheet out on the table out there. The tickets are, we're in a different section this year. We're in section 220, uh, row one and two, so that's really cool. The tickets are $29. You can sign up there. You can email me if you want to think about it later. We do need our final order by July 23rd, so you still have quite a bit of time to think about it, but look at your calendar, August 15th. It's always really fun. And there's also a... Um, There'll be a Lutheran night choir to sing the national anthem, and we can participate in that if you'd like to. I also have quite a few giveaways, prizes at, that I give away at the game. I have a variety of t-shirts. I have some hats that I've collected as on freebies. So if you come to the game, you have a chance to get those. And then coming out in the Sentinel this week, we will be having a property work day on July 8th at 9 a.m. because it's hot in the summer, so we're going to start at 9 instead of 10 to especially work outside on collecting garbage and weeding and trimming and that kind of thing. We may do some inside projects, but watch your Sentinel for that information too. Good morning, everyone. An update from the call committee. I'm Deb swenson Clatt, and along with Clara and Enrico and uh, Renata and Gabe and Rolf, and with Pastor Martha, we have uh, a, a step that we've, a significant step that we've taken. We've completed our interview process. Yes, yes. And uh, this interview process, of course, is for a minister of community care. Our next step is looking ahead to the July 9th council meeting, uh, planned, uh, already scheduled, and we anticipate bringing forward a recommendation to the council on that date. And from there, we have a number of other steps to roll pending on the council's uh, approval of the recommendation. So we'll continue to keep you updated uh, more closely through the month of July. Uh, we've been a little quiet as we've finished up that interview process, but excited to share this update with you today. Thanks. Woo. 
Well, earlier today, my name is Mike Troutman, and I'm here with both Reparations Hat and Ministry of Community and Faith Formation. And a couple minutes ago, Sadie introduced us to the importance of saving and protecting our waters. And so after you meet with her after church, right after that, I invite you to gather with us in the hospitality room to learn about opportunities you have to either participate in or and or support a, an effort of honoring and protecting Lake Superior. A group of us from our saviors plan to participate in the Nibby Walk led by Sharon Day and other indigenous elders. So that will happen in early August. There's a couple of options for participation. They fit around the Wilderness Canoe Base uh, Family Camp. So please do stop in and learn more uh, right after worship. See you in your nibby spirit. And there's a, a sign-up sheet if you can't make it today for more information. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Connor, and most of you all should know me. But I mean, if you don't, then you know me now. <laughs> I'm here on behalf of the youth group because we have a trip coming up to the Boundary Waters from the 1st of August to the 6th. And we're looking for chaperones to kind of come out. And if you enjoy watching teens do stupid stuff or being reckless, then it would be great if you all come out here. And so if any of that sounds interesting, please just talk to me or Martha about chaperoning for the trip. All right. Thanks for listening. Have a nice day. You'll also get to enjoy the wisdom of our youth, the humor, not just the stupidity. Okay. We go forth with God's blessing. Please um, rise as you're able. The God who calls across the cosmos and speaks in the smallest seed. Bless, keep, and sustain you now and forever. Amen. And our closing song will be led by our day campers. The, we're going to do the gratitude song. So if you were at day camp and you'd like to share at the microphone something you're grateful for, why don't you line up right here when, while we teach this to our friends. And the rest of you may be seated for this song. So every day at day camp, we, at the end of the day, we sang the gratitude song, and then we invited anyone who wanted to give thanks for something, give thanks to God for something in the day, to come up and share what they're grateful for. So we'll sing this song through, and then I'll pass the mic. It'll be an opportunity for all of us to share something we're grateful to God for. In the morning, gratitude, and at noon, gratitude, in the evening, and at bedtime, peace. In the spring, gratitude. And in summer, gratitude. In the fall, gratitude. And in winter, peace. What are you grateful for today? I am grateful for happiness. I'm grateful yeah. for the world, and friends. I'm grateful for this beloved community. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for, uh, for telling people to clean up the earth, water, and land. We start at it, we're starting at a park. All right, one more, one more. I'm grateful for the bread. All right, let's sing. In the morning, gratitude. You want to sing? And at noon, gratitude. In the evening, gratitude. And at bedtime, peace. In the spring, gratitude. And in summer, gratitude. In the fall, friends, I invite you to turn to people around you and just share something you're grateful for. Just turn to a neighbor 
Share something you're grateful for. I'm grateful for happiness and Hey, Lydia. I'm grateful for you. Good to see you. That's not happiness. We sing together. In the morning, gratitude. And at noon, gratitude. In the evening, gratitude. And at bedtime, peace. In the spring, gratitude. And in summer, gratitude. In the fall, gratitude. And in winter, peace. Go in peace to build beloved community in the way of Christ. Thanks be to God. God.